Hello, today is Friday, November 17th, 2017, and welcome to episode 2, season 2 of Nerd News. Uh, let's get right into news with some S.H.I.E.L.D. news. Uh, the trailer happened, uh, when was it released? Like last Friday, I think? So, uh, it was obviously one of the first stories I caught, and, uh, I liked it. I liked the trailer. We're in space. It looks pretty cool. It's going to be uh, airing Friday, December 1st. I don't know if we knew that already or not, but now we know. Um, also, there was like a little sneak peek video that released minutes as I was like writing down my notes. I noticed uh, there was a sneak peek thing that had released, so I, uh, I thought I'd uh, look at that and maybe get that for the... Uh, <clears throat> Nerdy News 2, and it was like cool alien in that, so that's going to be linked down below too in the uh, in the description. Um, some video game news, Tekken 7 is getting some DLC with Noctis, Lucas Kalem, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not sure, but there was a reveal trailer for that. Uh, he, for those of you who don't know, he's a character from Final Fantasy 15. And um, that'll be releasing in, I think it's 15. Uh, I, I tried playing Final Fantasy, I got confused. Anyways, that's not the point. Uh, that'll be um, releasing for the game uh, Spring of 2018. And uh, it'll be for Xbox One, uh, PlayStation 4, and the Stream. Did I say Stream? I meant, uh, why can I not remember what it's called? No, stream. I don't know what I'm saying. I think it's stream. I'm confusing myself. Anyways, there's a Lord of the Rings um, Amazon prequel um, that they're working on. Uh, it's already got multiple seasons. I like the Lord of the Rings, how it is. I didn't read the books. I sh probably should. Don't crucify me. But yeah, um, there's a prequel. Uh, <coughs> There's a prequel happening, uh, article, or prequel, uh, series. It's already got multiple seasons on Amazon. Yeah. Um, it's some superhero movie news. Spider-Man Morbius the Living Vampire is, uh, well, the Morbius the Living Vampire is getting a spin-off. Um, and it's a Spider-Man character. Uh, Sony will be developing it. And uh, it's from the writers of Power Rangers, the Power Rangers writers, Burke Sharpless, Sharp, Sharpless, I think it is. Don't turn off of me screen, don't turn off. And Matt Sazam, who also wrote Dracula Untold, The Last Witch Hunter, and Gods of Egypt. They're writing the script for this. Um, so that's uh, what's happening with that. Um, the Mar there's another Mario movie being made, but it's not going to be live action. They're actually going to animate this one, um, but it's going to be made by Illumination uh, Entertainment, which if you remember, they made the uh, Despicable Me movies, um, all four if you count Minions. Uh, they made Secret Life of Pets, Sing... I'm struggling to think of something else they made, but I swear, if there's a minion in the background of this, because there are minions in the backgrounds of their other movies that don't have minions in them. <coughs> Old minion toys. I'm sure Giro Miyamoto is supposed to uh, produce this. He's like a producer for this, and uh, they've been looking for a studio to help make help them make it for... Nintendo has been for a little over a year now. So, I don't know where that's going. I don't know if this is going to be made. Uh, it looks like it's going to be made. Hopefully it's good. I really want it to be good. Because that... <laughs> I spilled it. Wow. That first Mario movie was... Uh, that was not a favorite of many. Or most. Um, really not a lot of people at all. Um... Game of the Year nominees. Really, really there's like a, not, a lot of uh, our uh, um, awards for, um, that are going to be. Uh, for, I forget what the name of the thing is. I'll remember it. It'll come to me. But yeah, the Game of the Year uh, nominees have been released. Uh, and they're Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, um, Players Unknown's Battlegrounds, 
Persona 5 and Horizon Zero Dawn. So uh, those are the, you can vote for them, those are the, <coughs> those are the nominees for Game of the Year. Uh, Cards Against Humanity uh, is buying a piece of the U.S. border. And, uh, yeah, they're uh, trying to stop Trump from building his wall. And it's like sort of uh, like if you buy something, like part of the holiday package, like not part, if you buy the $15 holiday card package, you get a piece of the wall. Like a piece of that, not wall, the land where the wall would be built. <coughs> and they also mail some surprises to people, but we don't know what they are because they're surprises. So that's going to be happening. Um, there's a fake news show. It's called Fake News. Uh, it's going to be starring, what's his name, Ed Helms, from uh, the Hangover movies and The Office. And I'm struggling to think of something else he was in that I've watched. Ed Helms, he's a funny guy. I like him. Um, but it's going to be ridiculous made-up news. I'm quoting what he put when he tweeted about this or whatever, posted about it. It's going to be fake news. It's going to be fake news. And uh, it's going to be on Comedy Central. It's going to be making fun of, like, news arc news uh, reports that are fake. Unlike this, this is all real stuff that I post about. Uh, or rumors that I'm saying aren't real. I'm not saying, like, this is a fact, but, you know. Uh, but, yeah, it's going to be on Comedy Central. It's going to be premiering Tuesday, December 13th. <coughs> um, Marvel Heroes, an app. I, like some kind of app is going to be shut down by uh, Disney's like, no, we're, we're not going to be a part of this anymore. It's, it's going away. So that's happening. Um, Titanic is getting a theatrical release again f after uh, the 20-year anniversary of the movie. So uh, if your name is Jerry Smith, I think you'll really like that movie or this uh, thing. You'll probably go to that. You have to watch a certain show to get the It's a reference. Anyways, uh, <laughs> why am I making myself laugh at stupid stuff? Um, the Strangers 2, the, um, the Strangers, yeah, The Strangers 2 Pray at Night got a trailer. It's going to be really to see March 2018. I didn't care for the first one. I don't care for horror movies, so this is just like, oh, great, another horror movie. Good, you have fun with that. I've probably said that before. I don't really care for horror movies. Multiple Man, he's getting a movie. Uh, played by James Franco. You know who Multiple Man is, right? The, uh... <coughs> in X-Men 3, which a lot of people didn't like, X-Men, uh, Last Man... Last Man? X-Men Last Stand. They, uh... There was, uh, the guy who could, like, multiply himself. And, like, uh, the one scene in the woods where they think they found Magneto's compound where him and all his, uh, guys are, uh, it's really just a bunch of him. So, uh, that's what that is. That's who that is. And he's getting his own movie. I'm assuming it's the same guy. I didn't really <laughs> research it. Because how many X-Men characters do you know mutants that can do that? So, uh, I digress. Uh, that's happening. James Franco's going to be the guy. Um, Fantastic Beast 2, The Crimes of Grindelwald is going to be, uh, releasing on, uh, November 16th, 2018, which is it exactly a year after it got announced, so... I feel like they planned that. Like, how could they not plan that? Anyways, A Quiet Place, a movie, there's a movie called A Quiet Place, it got a trailer, it's, uh, apparently you have to be quiet or these things come after you. I didn't show what they were, so that's cool, it's like, what, what's the stuff? What are the things? So, uh, yeah, it's going to be starring uh, John Krasinski, whom I've, I've absolutely loved in all the stuff I've seen him in. Uh, he was in License to Wed. I loved him in that. He was in The Office. Big Office fan. <laughs> I need to finish my parody. But yeah, he's been in a lot of things. Um, and his wife. Why do I not remember her name? Why don't I remember her name? I should have wrote it down. But yeah, it's another horror movie though, so... 
as much as I'm a fan of his, I don't want to watch this because I'm not a big horror fan. Um, they're already talking about, um, or they have some. They have someone in mind as a Batman replacement. Um, allegedly, this is. We don't know if this is a real story. Uh, uh, someone is just saying like, "Oh yeah, well I was talking to someone and they said they might have a replacement in mind for uh, Ben Affleck as uh, Batman. We're just gonna replace him with someone else." So unless Justice League does really good, which it looks good, I want to see Justice League. Um, yeah, there. That's maybe happening, and then. Save my last two stories as my favorites. Um, Are You Afraid of the Dark movie is apparently being written. It's going to be made by Paramount Pictures. It's going to be written by Gary Dauber, Dauberman? D-A-U-B-E-R-man. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Who uh, wrote the new It movie? Uh, the, you know, Pennywise new. It. It's not a movie called New It. It's just the It movie, the new one, and Annabelle Creation, which I have yet to see both of, and I don't plan on seeing because again, horror movies. It gave me nightmares, child. The It, the uh, Tim Curry It. I that was the only thing in the real world that gave me nightmares. I had nightmares because of it, and yet they involved The Simpsons. But I had, because it, it involved The Simpsons Trails of Horror episodes, but I'd never had nightmares of them before. And then I saw it, and I like, I, I'm blaming it. I blame it. Um, he went on record by saying, The show is about a uh, shared experience of telling stories, especially scary ones, and the movie is going to be celebrating that. I'm paraphrasing this a bit, because uh, my notes are paraphrased. <clears throat> yeah, the movie's going to celebrate break that, along with um, honoring the darker and uh, scarier tone of the uh, show, which was uh, groundbreaking for Nickelodeon at the time. And he finishes this quote by saying, uh, I hope the Midnight Society approves. Hey, I certainly approve. So, uh, I'm so I hope I got the fire behind me with the logo. I really hope I got the fire with the uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark logo. <coughs> I said it last week. Our favorite our favorite red-suited guy is coming to town. We got some Deadpool too. Uh, you got a teaser. It's a Bob Ross parody called Getting Getting Wet to Wet with Deadpool. Uh, sorry, Getting Wet to Wet with Deadpool 2. And uh, I was looking at some of the paint names. One was like Betty White. What was, one was uh, Menin, Menin Black, like Men in Black. Um, box Office Gold. Just stuff like that. Funny little names. And uh, there was surprisingly actual teaser in there. Like I thought, oh, okay, it's something funny, a funny little parody to, to promote, like, hey, Deadpool's coming, you know? And then it's like, wait, what? This is like new. And then at the end, uh, you see a cyborg hand. That's Cable. So we got Cable and, uh, oh. That's the end of that. It landed on there again. I can't fake it. Twice in a row. I should probably watch the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 videos I have set to watch. Because I gotta edit, and I gotta pee, and I got something in the works that might be very good. And uh, I'm jonesing to show you guys what it is. <laughs> if, if it happens. I'm still in talks with people about stuff. Yeah, uh, hopefully this is something that happens. I'm really excited, too. Am I off-center? I'm definitely off-center, aren't I? Anyways, I digress. The, what I'm trying to say is uh, Nerd News. It's uh, been a week. It's been a good week, hopefully, uh, for Nerd News. I certainly like those last two stories. Uh, I'm going to go do stuff. Maybe actually make a parody or something good. Uh, have I become like Jack Holmes where I just do one video series for a while and then the occasional? 
whatever. I'm gonna go. See you guys later. Bye.